start with this. So I also had the experience with, with, with this test of uh, taking it, and that's my, that's my negative uh, up there, a home use device that I used this week. It's an, an OI, OIBD product. It, it is kind of amazing that I can walk into a CVS, at least in Reading, maybe not down here in San Diego. I don't know that, that, that you know, availability is great in some of the larger uh, cities, but I was able to walk in and, and, and just pick this up off the shelf. And that is a game changer, I think, for us. Even though, you know, at, at the cost, I wouldn't go around doing twice weekly screenings, uh, you know, for, for all this, at least not of my entire household uh, for, uh, for COVID. But definitely for a trip to grandma or, you know, or for, for this conference, um, i do that. And I expect that's, as we move forward, going to be a big piece, a, a big piece of what we do. And I just want to take a moment as well to highlight how close to home this is this has gotten and it, it, pun intended maybe I, I had a respiratory virus back in March of 2020 I don't know if it was COVID but I felt awful and it's had long-standing effects my wife definitely had COVID in fall of 2020 and so having access to the vaccines having access to uh, testing is, is a real game changer, I think, just from a public health standpoint for all of us, despite the concerns that we, we all have about what the future looks like. And I, I for one, particularly value uh, this as a tool moving forward if we, can, if we can get to having broader accessibility of lower cost uh, home use devices. You know, I, I do think that we can actually see behavior patterns and, and all of this change in a positive way to help us better fight the pandemic. So, uh, so I'm hoping that we do end up with more, uh, with more tools for this uh, public health emergency, as, uh, as FDA has called it. And my, my personal mission is all about empowering people and uh, trying to align or better align incentives. And I think that's one thing that, that, that FDA's uh, been uh, uh, more aware of, I would say, than some of the other regulatory agencies involved in all this and thinking about how we drive uh, behavior in some positive ways. But I, I think we definitely still have some, some room for improvement there. And uh, so we'll, we'll see where this goes.